widely renowned as the best player to ever play the game of basketball. You have Michael Joy. I want y'all to understand that what you see on the screen is talent, skill, is dedication. But what we're going to give you today is the facts. Michael Jeffrey Jordan has done his thing. Take nothing away from him. Not his accolades. Take nothing away from his skill set. Take nothing away from nothing he does on the basketball court. But what we want you to understand, that it got to be done right. And what has to be done right? An examination of the greatest basketball player of all time. We're going to take a deep dive as we look and see why you consider Michael Jordan the greatest to ever do it. And who is really the greatest to ever do it? Some have many thoughts, but we're going to get into it today. And it's not going to be what you think. We're going to take a deep dive on who's the greatest player of all time. Right here on the Deprogram Show. And with that being said, Thank y'all for tuning in to the D program show. We got another great show for y'all. Michael Jordan does his thing. Take nothing away from him. Take nothing away from his skill set. Take nothing away from nothing he does. But we got to take a deep dive. And we got to examine what's going on. And we're going to let y'all know like this. Michael Jordan's career is measured by what we consider the most, what most consider the main thing. The main thing is this right here. Let's see. We're going to go to it. The main thing. It's this right here. <clears throat> it's championships. The main thing is championships, and we're going to get into it. So we're going to share this on the screen. Michael Jordan, six NBA championships. But I'm going to tell you all this. This right here is why most people consider Michael Jordan the greatest of all time. Not the championships, but this right here. What is this on the screen? This on the screen is the logo that solidified Michael Jordan for who he is. But let's take a deep dive on why y'all think so. Let's take a deep dive. So, Michael Jordan has done his thing. But I'm finna go to this right here. Let's take a look at this. We got to take a look at the facts. If you're going to consider Mike the greatest to ever do it, you got to consider this right here. You got to consider this. Let's see. We got to consider this fact right here. Let's take a look. Michael Jordan is considered the greatest to ever do it. And 
Let's take, we finna examine this once and for all. Once and for all. How many rings does Michael Jordan get? Michael Jordan had six rings. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar also had six rings. NCAA championships, Michael Jordan got one. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has three. Six MVPs for Kareem, five for Mike. NCAA MVPs, three, zero for Mike. NCAA tournament MVPs, three for Kareem, zero for Mike. NCAA player of the year, three for Kareem, one for Mike. NBA all-star games, 19 for Kareem. 14 for Mike. In all NBA teams, 15 for Kareem, 10 for Mike. All NBA defensive teams, 11 for Kareem, 9 for Mike. Points. Everybody want to say Mike's a killer. Mike has 32,292 points. Again, Michael, Jeffrey, Jordan. Has 32,292 points. Kareem Abdul Jabbar has 38,387 points. Mike has 49.7% field goal rank average. Kareem Abdul Jabbar has 55.9% field goal average. Rebounds. Kareem has 17,440. Mike has 6,672. Assists, Kareem has 5,660. Mike has 5,633. Steals, now we're going to go blocks. 3,189 for Kareem, 893 for Mike. Steals, Kareem has 1,160. Mike has 2,514. Out of everything I name, the only thing that Mike outweighs Kareem on is steals. Let me say that again. Let me say that again. The only thing Mike has Kareem on is steals. Nigga. He ain't lying. Say that again. The only thing Mike has Kareem on is steals. He ain't lying. And what you niggas don't understand is it's about resume. It's not about marketing. It's about resume. And with looking at the resume, let's look at it. Let's look at the resume. Let's look at the resume head to head. We just looked at it on one end. We're going to look at it on another end. The resume. The resume is very important. The resume is very important when you're looking at this. Because everybody is caught up on Mike. Everybody is caught up on Mike. But we got to look at the resume. Okay. This is important. Michael Jordan has six NBA championships, correct? Kareem has six NBA championships. Mike has six finals MVPs. Kareem has two. We're going to get at the Mike. MVP awards. Mike has five. Kareem has six. We going to get that to Kareem. All NBA teams. Mike has 11. Kareem has 15. Mike has 14 all-star appearances. Kareem has 19. Mike has been all defensive selection nine times. Kareem has been 11. Total win shares. 
Mike has 214. Kareem has 273. Career playoff efficiency rating. Mike has 27.9. Kareem has 24.6. Mike wins two of these categories. He wins efficiency rating. We ain't going to hate on Mike. And he wins finals MVP. So, I've heard guys continue this notion of, well, Mike never lost in the finals. Hmm, okay. We, we're going to take that in consideration. Mike didn't lose in the finals. But what Mike also understands and what the fans need to understand, if you don't win, you lose. He ain't lying. So every year Mike played that he didn't win the NBA championship, he lost. He ain't lying. Kareem went to 10 NBA finals. 10. He lost four. He won six. So some would say, well, he lost four times. But what you got to understand, three of the times he lost, guess who was in the league? Michael. Jeffrey Jordan. He ain't lying. So, what we got to understand is this. Let me let me pull pull something else up because we yeah, people big on receipts. So we're gonna give y'all the receipts. We're gonna give y'all the receipts right here, right here, right now. We're gonna give y'all the receipts. Let's go over this. Kareem is a six-time NBA champion. Mike is a six-time NBA champion. Kareem is a six-time MVP. Mike is a five-time MVP. Kareem has two NBA Finals MVPs. Mike has six. Kareem, 19-time All-Star. Mike, 14. Kareem was the all-time NBA leading scorer. Mike was never the all-time leading score. Kareem was the rookie of the year. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mike was the rookie of the year. All defensive teams, 11, Mike, 9. See what we got to understand. National, con- National College Player of the Year, Kareem got three. Mike got one. Most outstanding player. Kareem has three. I think Mike has. Uh, I won't say zero. Kareem is the NBA, uh, NCAA champion three times. Mike won. I'm telling you, people. Mike is not the greatest to ever do it. Kareem won in high school. Kareem won in college. Kareem won in the pros. But. Kareem is not marketable as Michael Jordan, and that's where he suffers. They both have done this. They both have worn it. They both worn rings. You see Mike. Salute to Mike with his six ring. But guess what else you got to see? You got to see this as well. You got to see this. That's Kareem. Kareem's a champion as well. Kareem has six of those things. So don't let it fool you. Don't let the people fool you. Y'all listening to ESPN and all those guys. Take nothing away from Mike. Take nothing away from Mike. Let's go to something else. Let's go to something else. I want y'all to see this. We're going to examine it real close. Everybody knows Mike dominated what era? Mike dominated the 90s. Mike dominated the 90s. Take nothing away from Mike. He dominated the 90s. Everybody know that. Let's look. Chamberlain, Russell. Chamberlain has four in the 60s. 
Russell has four and a six. You see Kareem, five in the 70s, five MVPs in the 70s. You see Larry, Joe, Bird has three MVPs in the 80s. Mike has four MVPs in the 90s. Timmy D, two MVPs in the 2000s. Steve Nash, very questionable, the two MVPs in the 2000s. LeBron James. Has three MVPs in two in the twenty tens, but who are we focusing on? Mike and Kareem. Mike dominated the nineties. We know that he has four MVPs in the nineties. Kareem dominated the seventies. He has five MVPs in the seventies. So even in his era, in his decade. He topped Mike again. Kareem wasn't the most marketable player. I'm going to say that again. He ain't lying. Kareem wasn't the most marketable player. That's why he suffers. But one thing you can't take away from the man is his resume. His resume trumps Michael Jordan, whether you like it or not. So, with all that being said, The greatest basketball player of all time. Is it Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan got a statue, though. Michael Jordan got a statue outside the United Center. People praise Mike for that. He got a statue outside the United Center. Y'all looking at the statue right now. Donkey on. Look like two people. But guess what, y'all? Guess what? It's not not it's not as pretty as what y'all come to know from Mike. But Kareem got a statue as well. Y'all see that? Kareem got a statue as well. Again. The greatest to ever do it is not based on opinion. The greatest to ever do it is based on resume. The greatest basketball player of all time based on his resume. Based on resume. Bad as they don't want to accept it. Bad as people don't want to accept it. I'm going to leave this with y'all. Baddest people don't want to accept it. The greatest player based on resume would have to be, again, would have to be y'all know him as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, first known to the public as Lou Al Center. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has the best resume of all time. Some say, but Bill Russell has more championships. He does. But did Bill Russell make an impact by being an all-time leading scorer? Did Bill Russell hold it down in college? Did Bill Russell be the blocks leader? Bill Russell did his thing, but Bill Russell never scored 38,000 points. Bill Russell wasn't a 19-time All-Star. Again, we got to factor this in. Resume. Based on his resume, the best to ever do it would have to be Lou Center, a.k.a. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. People mad. I had this talk with a dude at the barbershop, and he was like, man, you young, man. You don't know what you're talking about. I know this. 
the man's let, let, let me go to this. Y'all see, he's a champ, just like Mike is a champ. But this right here tells it all, right here. This right here tells it all. This right here tells it all. Mike beat Kareem in one category. One. They talking about how Mike was a killer. He was 49% from the field. Kareem was 55.9% from the field. More rebounds, more assists, more blocks. Hmm. What did I say because he played more years? Field goal percentage wasn't because he played more years. Field goal percentage is field goal percentage. And not to mention, Kareem did it, taking very few amount of three-point shots. So, for all those who look at this logo and want to say Mike is the GOAT based on what they presented to you by this, You've been brainwashed. And with that being said, the greatest to ever play the game. Again, not my opinion, but based on resume, will have to be Lou Al Sunday. They changed the game. Outlawed the slam dunk. He created the sky hook. They changed the game to hurt his game, and he still evolved. They changed the game to help Mike. Y'all get in them comments and tell me am I tripping? This is the Deep Program Show where we are discuss the real. The greatest basketball player of all time has to be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And for all those talking about Mike went 6-0, Mike played 15 years in the league, and he didn't win every year while he was in the league. So, with all that being said, 6-0 is cool in the final. But he played 15 years. And just like Kareem and everybody else, when you don't win, you lost. He ain't lying. When you don't win, you lost. He ain't lying. So with that being said, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell me my trip. Tell me, am I tripping? Examine the information that I gave you and tell me, am I tripping? Is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar not the best player to ever lace him up on all levels? Folks want to say LeBron James? No. Folks want to say Michael Jordan? I just gave the case why. Cap, as they know him. Come in, do his job, handle his business, and he get on down. The greatest basketball player to ever do it, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the D-Program Show. We gone.